storms, right, Mr. Daniel? We are. We got some nervous folks behind us here. Parney, amongst many others, as the squirrels are back in town, they're hosting the Erie Sea Wolves, and you can see the parking lot filling up in the sky, filling up as well with clouds. Hopefully, that's all we get, or just the ominous clouds. But I do think there'll be a chance for some thunderstorms a bit later on. First pitch is less than an hour away, though, and as of right now, it's looking okay. 86 degrees, our current temperature. It's muggy, so it feels like 93. Other temperatures around Virginia are a mix of 70s and 80s. All kind of depends on how close you are to the showers and thunderstorms that have developed. Arcing area here of showers and storms uh, from Aylitz all the way back down through King William and down toward West Point. This will continue to lift to the north through the Middle Peninsula and affect parts of the northern neck as well. All quiet in the Richmond area at this time. Uh, back to our west, though, west of Powhatan, between Powhatan and Dillwyn, and between Dillwyn and Appomattox, thunderstorms out that way. There is a tornado warning way out to our west over for the Lynchburg area. We have a flash flood watch that remains in effect until 8 o'clock tomorrow night, so it's all for tonight and through the day tomorrow. We have this one band of storms here and then another one back to the west and down to our south. I'm tracking this area here in the North Carolina Virginia line. We'll likely see more development of showers and storms coming into the area later on. A couple of tornado watches remain in effect. The circulation from Fred is right along the Georgia North Carolina line. It's moving to the north northeast at 23 miles per hour. We do have a low end risk for some severe storms. It's one of those situations though that the risk, the mode of severe weather would be tornadoes. So low threat here, higher threat there, the farther south and west you go. And that threat will shift to the north and east a bit tomorrow. Lows tonight will be in the low to mid 70s and highs will be in the low to mid 80s. Here's a look at your forecast for the area. A low chance in the morning of a shower or a thunderstorm. The best chances are going to be kind of either side of noon tomorrow. I'd say about 11 a.m. to around uh, 3 or 4 p.m. are going to be the best chances to see showers and thunderstorms. Rest of tonight, we'll have this cluster of showers and storms that will lift north. We'll have another one develop likely and push into central Virginia later on tonight. I'd say between about 8 p.m. and maybe about 10.30 p.m. That moves on. The bulk of the activity remains out west overnight tonight. And there's that band of showers and storms coming through central Virginia in the middle part of the day tomorrow. After that, things settle down from tomorrow night on into Thursday. All right, the excessive rainfall threat. You want know, to focus on the yellow area. That's going to be the greatest threat for excessive rainfall. For the rest of today, it's going to be out west. Tomorrow, it shifts a little bit more to the east. Let's check out the tropics. Tropical Storm Grace down near Jamaica. It likely will strengthen to a hurricane before it makes landfall in the Yucatan Peninsula. It'll be disrupted by land a little bit, but will likely strengthen again to a hurricane before a second landfall in Mexico. And then we also have Tropical Storm Henri. Pretty strong tropical storm. This one's going to miss Bermuda to the south, and then it will make a turn to the north and back to the northeast, and it's going to send a pretty good swell on the east coast. That's good for the surfers and uh, pretty dangerous, though, for the rest of us with high rip tides, very likely. All right, there's a look at your seven day forecast. Good chances for rain tomorrow and again coming up on Friday and then just some scattered activity over the upcoming weekend. All right, great story coming up here. Two siblings are taking on a challenge.